What's going on YouTube? It's Akuma1921 here with my new segment. Like I'm doing a player interview with all the pros. It's called uh, the Pro Status. So uh, my first interview I to be with yours truly, Jesus of 40, otherwise known as Caesar, the Princess Gonzalez, otherwise known as just Caesar Gonzalez. Um, so yeah, uh, my first question I have for you in this interview, um, people haven't seen you for a good while. You've been doing videos on your channel and stuff, but you know, you know, took it a hiatus and stuff and chilling out. So, um, first question I want to ask you, start at the beginning, how did you first get into Yu-Gi-Oh? Uh, I picked up a book at the GameStop, there you go, GameStop, uh, and I like, flipped to the pages and I saw Yu-Gi-Oh, the cartoon. So I watched the first episode and I went to Toys R Us and bought the starter deck and packs. Nice, cool. And, so I got in. and you had friends, you had friends that knew how to play and stuff like that, or? Uh, no. Also, it was just you? Yeah. At first? At first, for like the first three months. I had the deck and played myself. Yeah. And then copied the cartoon show, and then I met people cool. at school and stuff. And then what was your first local that you played at? Uh, Molfax Sun Collectibles. Check them out. Right now, we're located in Enfield, Connecticut. Yeah, now we're in Enfield. Yep. Yeah, it was in Springfield. Cool. I was like 14. Yeah. All right. Do you remember your uh, first Shonen Jump Top? Do you remember where it was and what deck uh, you played? Uh, Philadelphia Cyberstein. Cool. Yeah. Cool beans. Good jump. Good jump. Yeah. All right. How what year was that? 06, 05? Uh, 06. 04? Yeah, <laughs> no, I wasn't that long. Because I just graduated high school. Cool. All right, next question. What are you most known for? I'll skip a little bit back and more into the future. <laughs> most people should know, but uh, mainly, what are you most known for? Mainly Caesar Stein and Teledad. Okay. And Caesar Dead. Probably more Teledad over the well, yeah. I mean, like, top, to nine top jumps nine in a row. Top nine jumps in a row with yeah. that deck, so. Yeah. Some of them I, mean, I didn't. I, I didn't top one jump during that, but. Yeah. <clears throat> cool. Probably the most impressive record for telling that format. Actually, ever. Adam definitely up there with me. I was, I gotta go back and look at the game. I don't know if I've seen his name that many times. Shout well, out to he, Adam Corn, but I don't know every, Adam. I think he topped every one of them. He topped he topped the one that I didn't top, which was uh, North Carolina. Word, Word. Uh, cool. All right, all right. So, uh, what are some of your accomplishments? Speaking of those, this is more uh, it, brighten up on that. Thirteen Shonen Jump. Thirteen. Top eight or top sixteens. Two wins. Uh, Seattle. Which two did you win? Seattle and Canada, Montreal. Just in case uh, people don't know. Got second place at uh, Chicago, second place at San Fran. Um, over 55 regional tops. 55, you two. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, Some of us probably never get more than 10. And this man has like 55, him, Corn, and some of the other guys. That's uh, insane. Top two national, uh, Nintendo DS Nationals, top four Nintendo DS World Championship. Uh, it's broken, man. That's crazy. Yeah. That's, that's what's up. It. Uh, I usually suck at Nationals. <laughs> Speaking of San Fran, that has clicked in my head. I got a really, uh, it's an out of there question for you that I probably won't ask all the other pros when I do the segment. But I just want the world to know because I think it's mad funny and it makes me mad every time I hear what he say when you say it. But what is your dumbest moment in Yu Gi Oh? Uh, definitely not setting out my mirror force against Spicer in top two of Chicago. Can't believe you. Yeah, I forgot to set out my Mirror Force over my dust shoe. Mind you, I won the Dyro. You know what? You two put that link in the bottom too, so you guys can see that right down the bottom. <laughs> so I'm gonna put it right to that page where y'all can read that feature match. I think that's so funny. All right, your next uh, question. I have. Uh, what is your favorite Yu-Gi-Oh card? Monster, Spell, and Trap. Start with uh, the monster and why. Monster, Dark Arm, obviously <laughs> one of my favorite cards. I mean, I've been playing Dark. Arm. I thought you were stay Stratos. I'm not gonna. Lie. Well, I mean, Dark Arm. I've been playing Dark Arm since the first came out and. I played regular dad, top with it, and then I added Stratos and Malicious and stuff, and top with that, and I continued on to tell dad, top yeah. with that. I just continued on top with, with dad. Mm -hmm. Cool. I top with three dads, two dads, one dad. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, your favorite spell and why? Uh, Monster Reborn, obviously. I used... It was mainly overused during, during the Mox Cyber Valley format with Disc Commander. I think I was, the, I was one of the top players that knew how to abuse it more. With the Cyber Valley effects and return. Mm, cool. All right, and obviously your last is your trap. Uh, crush card virus, obviously. Crush card, yeah. It's the best card. Cool. Yeah, it is the best one. I think every, every, I think I always told um, all my friends, Labounty, Ivan, give me a crush card and I'll top sixteen a jump. And then the first jump the crush card came out that was reprinted into Gold Series. I went there and went undefeated. I don't know. That's what's up. I always said it. Give me a crush card and I'll top. I know, right? Cool. Yeah, well, I got it. <laughs> so, all right. One of the main questions that usually all people ask when they give interviews, 
what do you think of the current format? Um, it just started. We've only been about 23 days and 27 I don't really days into it. I not play that much. I mean, I test against you. I can get tested against other people, but I don't really play that much. I mean, too busy with gym, work. Magic. You just got into uh, magic. Yeah, I'm starting Magic the Gathering now. Uh, it's just too much, too overwhelming. I don't have enough time to do everything. I mean, it's just busy clubbing people, <laughs> uh, friends. Cool. Busy, it's all good. You know? It's all good. A lot of people take breaks and stuff like that. <laughs> um, for the future, what do you think about um, Hyper Librarian uh, coming in May? Definitely playing it. Yeah. Already have my deck built. Caesar Salad, look for it. Caesar Salad. That's I so might funny. post it later on. I mean, I'm not sure if I want to post it yet. I mean, you guys saw me play against Stefan. He was playing um, Machine Curry Plant. Plant. I mean, I want a lot of people complain that he, he had a fair, an unfair disadvantage. But I mean. This is the way the games go. You're not always gonna yeah, draw it's gonna happen. Unfortunately, perfect, you know the perfect draws. Some of them might draw slow. Some of them might speed up. Like I mean, if he would have sped up against me, he would have beaten me because I had no protection in my backfields. My backfield sucked. So cool. it's like, but yeah, I like the deck. Uh, I've been winning with it constantly. I can beat Sam's. I can beat uh, X Sabers. I can beat Karaoke Plants. I can All beat the tier one. Yeah. Um, I haven't faced uh, Great Keepers yet. Definitely, uh, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, we, gotta get, we gotta get Pedro's deck and test yeah, with that. Uh, yeah. Just the fact that Road Tree we can go plus four plus four. It's just Road Tree should have been put the one, but Japan don't play with it like that. So, yeah. and Trishula, obviously one of your favorite synchros and one of my oh, favorite yeah, synchros. Well, Definitely one favorite. of everybody's probably favorite synchros. Well, like, it's, it's, it's guaranteed my favorite synchro. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm sure you can check out Cordero, Cordero Vasquez, uh, or Vas I don't even know his last name. I'm sorry, Cordero. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, Cordero, uh, he was the judge at. World Championship Nintendo DS in 2010, and every time he came over, I always summoned Trisha on the Nintendo DS, and he just walked away because he knew I was gonna win. And then I don't know where I just ended up saying, "Hey, Cordero, I won." <laughs> it's like every time I summoned Trisha, I always won. There's yeah. not one time I lost when I summoned Trisha. He's a really good plus, and it hurts a lot. So yeah, yeah. Uh, cool. Yeah, my favorite synchro definitely guaranteed. That's what's up. Cool. Sure. All right. So, what do you think about the future of Yu-Gi-Oh with these cards, the like, Seed monsters coming out, the Black Border oh, the cards? Access summoning. Uh, yeah. Definitely excited to see that. I, I, I don't know if it's gonna impact like Synchros did though. Um, man. Well, know. we get the new set in May. Yeah. The Sixteen Brick Duet. We don't get the next set until after that. So I'm Starts guessing, the school so I'm break. guessing we'll get it in August. I mean, I, I usually impact the format somewhat when we get something new into the game. Like when Dark Arm first revolutionized the game, I impacted. You know, when Synchros first came into the game, I impacted. So hopefully, seeing this new reign of monsters, I mean, whatever they do, they have like this overlay thing going on. They got a whole, I don't know, they got a whole bunch of things going I'm on. Excited so. actually for oh yeah, for sure, heck yeah. Oh, cool. Definitely like the new ban list. Sad that they didn't bring nothing back though. Yeah, Definitely they usually like, do, right? Yeah, yeah. I would have liked to see something come back though. Oh, uh, speaking of, we got a. Well, actually, no, we have 15 minutes, so we still got time. I take that back. I'm thinking we only got some 10 minutes, but we got oh, more than that. Sure. I forgot about that. Shout out to that. This go first thing, you know, me and you like go back and oh, forth nice with this job. all the time. You two, I want to know what you're feeling about this. This too, put it down in the bar down there in the comment bar below. What do you feel about the going first thing? You know, plants have yeah, a really definitely. decent. <laughs> plants have a really good go first, but you know, the top two decks that have the best go first is GB or GK. Actually, GB too. Uh, Gladiator Beast, Gravekeepers, and Samurais have the best go yeah, first. Like, I mean, if if me set, and set, you, set. if me and you. Like, in our match, in our video, me versus Curry Plants, we played... Even now, like, when we were playing Dragoonity yeah. and my Sam and stuff, like, just... Well, no, it's just, when me and you played it... Well, Dragoonity had a good for first, too. Plants versus my, my Caesar Salad, it was just, like, it didn't matter who went first. You can go first, okay, you can make a good play, but I can also chill back, relax, and not worry about you... Going off a, and... No, yeah. so making such a strong play, but... When Great Keepers open, you have to worry about them going Necro Valley Royal Tribute first turn. It's like, oh god, they're going for a plus three right away, yeah. or a plus two. Um, and for any kind of deck, you know, usually normal decks run twenty eighteen to twenty two monsters. And I mean, the only deck that don't do that is Great Keepers and Sam's. They only run fourteen, maybe thirteen. This is annoying. And if Sam's can go Gateway Six Hammer United, Kageki, Kagemusha, and Tashian, yep. and Tashian first turn definitely hurts. That's so annoying. <laughs> it's really annoying. free to gate, man. And he has the and he has the protection you effect. The I draw broken. With <laughs> I'm going to a regional this Saturday, YouTube. I plan on top and hopefully. I'm becoming an obviously. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna be an uncle. I wasn't gonna go to the regional, but I have a baby shower to go. Yeah, to. it's all good. It's Fuck. all good. I wanted to go. Yeah. That's cool. That's okay. Um, I'll be alright. That's alright. So, uh, I got another question. Oh, yeah. Um, how do you feel about the past couple of YCSs, like the winners and such, like Nazar? I mean, having no, like Nazar is my boy, Sean's my boy, but how do you feel about them? How do you feel about Empty Jar? Just elaborate well, on all that. Well, Nazar I faced at, um, at a tournament. He took the I think. shit out of me. I was playing Debris Plant. Uh, he was playing Lightsworn. Uh, he just. The kid drops broken. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, first game he had complete control. I couldn't even say nothing. But in the second game, I like, I started taking control. I had answers for his for his answers, but he just had more answers than I did. So it was like, wow. But I mean, definitely a good player. That's what he's doing, guaranteed. Yeah, for sure. Uh, he definitely deserved to win. Uh, Sean, I don't really know you. Sorry. Uh, uh, but you definitely deserve to win it. I think he's top two other ones. I know I've definitely seen his name once. I know I've seen him in a feature match. And I was, like, if you look at his yeah. like, his picture on his like, Facebook, never, I remember he has a... Him. I've never known... I mean, I might know who Sean is, but I I don't remember. Like, Yeah, it's all good. I mean, congrats to you, man. He's you a know? good player. But we do, yeah, we do a, need some new reigning uh, players in Nazar. It, it, it's, it's, it's straight up turned around. Like It's not the same like it used to be. Well, Nazar is definitely improving. Which is a good thing. Back to back. Yeah. That's really good for Yeah, he went, he went uh, undefeated at Charlotte, too, YouTube, mm-hmm. in case you guys didn't know. Really? So, very, same very, deck, very same proud of him. You know, good job to him. And so. Sean. He shut a lot of people up that were talking shit. Like, oh, man. Yeah, no. like <laughs> You know, you, you, won the, you won the jump, but or the YCS, whatever, but you never topped the wreck. But then he did it again with only one gateway. So, it's like. Uh, he didn't pull Jesse Samick. You know? Oh, ho. Oh, ho. Oh, Jesse. I'll probably hear something about that Saturday. <laughs> or at Orlando. <laughs> nah, Jesse's my name. Yeah, it's all good. Cool. All right, well, uh, any other comments? And cut this off a little bit. I don't think I have any more questions right now. This is my first segment. I want to give so. a shout out to Stefan. Kuma1921. My yeah. channel, GC40. My mom and my daddy, I love you. I'm just kidding. Uh, thank you, YouTube. Mom. That's all I can say. Uh, cool. Keep posted, and I'm gonna post some more videos, hopefully. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get on him, YouTube. He lives two streets down from me, so I'm gonna make sure you put some videos up, so it ain't nothing. Oh. Thank you. Too. Yeah. All right, you too. All right, well, like I said, this is my new segment called The Pro Status, and um, I'm going to be getting a lot more pros into it. I'm going to get Paul Levinson, Philly Luna, Jesse Tomek, Jerry Wang, you name them. Obviously, Jarrell, Pro Winston, got to get promo. If it ain't pro, it got to go. Got to go. All right, deuces, guys. <laughs> All right, man.